Once again, I took up some God Wars dungeon, and whenever I seem to be with someone at Bandles, all we get is Bandles boots, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it still pays for everyone's supplies since they're about 1 mil right now, and the lucky thing for me was getting myself a champion scroll from General Grator on kill count number 56, and that is actually a 1 in 5k or a 1 in 10k drop, so that is pretty cool, and I've never had a champion scroll before, um, ever in like playing RuneScape, so this is going to be some completely new content when I actually do something with it, but um, since they recently added a cape for completing all the champion bosses. I think it might be something cool to do one day and get all of those, but for now this scroll is just going to sit in the bank and um, I'm going to wait it out until I collect some more of these champion scrolls. <laughs> The goal I set myself a really long time ago was to get myself to level 83 construction and build my house really efficiently so I have the pool, I have the teleports and everything, but I've never really gotten to it. I do have the planks in my bank, but I just have to actually go for it. And that is the plan right now, but I need some more cash to invest into my butler. So what I'm going to do right now is going to sell the Slayer tab. As you can see, it's 15.8 million right now. Obviously, this is not all from Slayer because uh, I've only leveled like once since I sold the tab before. And basically most of it, there is a lot of Slayer, but most of it is from the herb boxes and the miscellaneous. So all the herbs and the seeds you see here comes mostly um, out of that. Obviously there's some Snapdragon and some Raynar seeds, which come from um, Wyverns as well as other monsters I've killed. And then a lot of the rune items is from my Necro tasks. And I got some clue scroll items here and there. And then most of these um, ores are either from Bandos, because I think I got like over 1k coal from Bandos. And some model of mine I AFK'd as well. And then some general loot in here. And then the battle staffs are from Sire and the Wyverns as well. So I'm going to sell everything and see if I actually get to 15.8 million and then continue on the construction grind. A friend and fellow clanmate of me has been hosting a hide and seek and uh, he hid here somewhere in Zia. I think I ran around for like 20 minutes uh, at least. And only like five minutes before me, this guy, Whalemeat FTW, found him and he's given away three prizes. Um, and I'm getting the second prize and then there's another guy, Ryu Kex, which is getting the third prize. And to be honest, it's one heck of a price. I'm just waiting for him to be able to trade with me, but he is trading his armor and everything he has because he's gonna focus on his Iron Man. So um, basically it is my turn now. I think I will be getting the third age plate body or the third age plate legs. I'm not 100% sure, um, but holy shit, that's worth 60 million. Oh, look at that. Thanks, you absolute legend. Oh my god, holy shit, I just received third age plate legs. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Uh, I actually need level 65 depends for that, which is really cool, but 60 million added to the bank value, which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much, GP Mule, for hosting this really fun clan event. Obviously, a lot of people are going to be salty, but uh, it's just really cool that he actually did this. So I'm going to sell this for 60 mil, see if it actually sells, which I'm hoping, but that's a lot of fucking cash to the bank. I'm just going to leave it in at 60 million and see if it sells, but uh, yeah, really cool. So I'm going to now continue on the construction grind currently level 74, 73,000 experience to go to level 75. As of a quick update, I am going to hit level 80 construction right here. Beautiful. I can able the maximum of 29 rooms with the Dark Altar, the Lunar Altar, the Ancient One. So we're getting pretty close, three more levels, and I can actually start getting boosted, which is all nice. So uh, yeah, I've actually keybinded this for the most part. Um, it's just basically five ticking or something I'm doing. It's a pretty good method, and overall by now I've gained a million experience. Uh, I still have a, quite a way to go. I actually need to get to 2.6 million experience, so about yeah, a little over 600,000 to go, so we're not quite finished, but I've got enough mahogany planks right now. I actually had to buy some more, but due to the 60 mil I get from the 30-ish plate legs, that is uh, easily possible. So 80 construction right here, going to 83 now. I'm about to hit level 83 construction right here. You can now build the decorative dungeon. Like a lot of stuff I can actually build, but 83 means that I can actually boost myself to level 91 construction and make the ornament jewelry box, which is the last thing I wanted for my house. So now it is time to start redecorating everything. I'm gonna remove this one and look up a guide on how to make the most efficient house. So this scenery is gonna change a lot in the upcoming clips. But uh, yeah, 83 construction, I trained 1.7 million experience today. It says an average of 336,000. I think I did it in like three and a half hours because like, I took a lot of breaks because it's like really hard to focus on this constantly. But I think I averaged around 500k an hour actual experience. So uh, yeah, level 83 was pretty quick to be honest. 
just got myself the boost to upgrade the final thing here in my house which is the ornate jewelry box for level 91 and there we go with all of the upgrades done i actually had to get quite a lot of spice but i now got myself an altar of oak hilt i got myself the ornate reju rejuvenation pool as well as the ornate jewelry box and basically i've got the fairy ring and everything so it's looking pretty cool i got all the teleports that are possible well almost all of them too i really never use um, so I can go to Apatol, I can go to Lunar, I can go to Waterbird, I can go to all the normal locations, and basically the house is done as I want it. It's pretty efficient. You enter, you have all the portals and everything, then you can drink from the pool, you can go to the jewelry box and everything. So with this one, I can now quickly teleport back to the crown exchange, which is a really cool advantage. So all I need basically is house steps and it can teleport almost anywhere in the game. So it's going to come in really handy for a lot of stuff, especially the pool, because it basically heals everything and uh, restocks and everything as well. So um, yeah, it was a pretty expensive grind. I think I lost nearly 40 million um, doing all of this because I had to buy a lot of stuff. And well, obviously the planks were pretty... Um, expensive as well but 83 construction the finished house is ready so now we can continue back onto the slayer grind i received an elite clue from my abyssal sire task and i got myself the casket here for 97k with the hosidius house carve okay that's that's a unique that's nice what does it look like um well can't really tell that much noise I wanted to grind out 100 Bandal skill count, and in the process of getting there, we get ourselves a Godsword Shard 1 from one of the minions, which isn't worth that much, but um, it's like 150k, but it still counts as a sort of a unique drop for Bandals, and it literally took only 3 kills, uh, and then I got the uh, Godsword Shard 2 in my name. So all of this added, we once again got our supplies uh, refunded, but unfortunately no big drops yet. I've seen 3 Bandals boots 3 times in my name and 1 time in someone else's name, which is kind of unfortunate in less than 100 banal skill count um but we're still praying for one day getting that banal's chest plate or the tacit finishing up our banal strip here with the last kill we can afford right now because some people have to leave obviously i still have quite some supplies so i could maybe uh sneak in a few more kills here and there but all in all a really good trip 93 greater kill count for me as well and in total i think i got about 15 ish or 20 ish kills here a uh, total of 88 room kc which is pretty good and we got ourselves the god sort one uh, the shard one and the shard two as well. Obviously not the best of loot, but uh, we had a really good trip here. So hoping to get some more next time. Coming up to a close here at the Abyssal Sire. I managed to get in 150 kills. Well, this is actually the 150th kill. And to be honest, it's not been the greatest. It took me a really long time. I think I spent about six days trying to get... Um, everything done here and it's basically 100 kills in one task is too much i guess next task i'm going up for 50 but i just wanted to get the 150 out of the way hopefully get it unsired but i haven't gotten one in the past 70 kills which is still fine because i passed uh the drop rate i didn't pass the drop rate yet um but this is going to be kill number 150 for the 10 chili potatoes that's not the best drop but uh, i'll take it basically the drops are around 45k each here so all in all, it is fine, but uh, yeah, that's 150 Sire Kill Count. I'm going to finish the rest of the task at the normal Abyssal Demons, and I still have 133 left. So uh, that's all nice, 100 here, but uh, yeah, it's a bit too much. It's time for normal Slayer tasks again. A new day and a new casket for 122k with the Zemi Braces, the Na Navy Cavalier. Sorry to win page 2. Well, that's a lot of items, but uh, unfortunately only 122k, but uh, yeah, I'll still take that. After this ever inspector, it is time for my 400 task completed, receiving 300 points, getting me to 723. And that is actually my task completed. Really, really insane boost right there, 300 points extra. 400 tasks already on the Zerker, and we're closing in, well not really, on 93 Slayer, still 540,000 experience to go. But I want to show you guys something, so you know how I did my Eber Inspector tasks by um, going back and forth through the Kandrin Monastery with the Ardorn Cloak and then just um, getting prayer back and then with the Slayer Rings I return. But what I do now is I go to my house, I use the Rejuvenate Pool, then I grab my Ancient Maze, I pot up and then I just use a special attack on the undead combat dummy and look what happens to my prayer. So currently I'm at 50 and I boost all the way up to 30 because I hit a 30. 
That is the amount of prayer points I get extra. So now it's 79, I just uh, rejuvenate again because I can use it at the Aberrant Spectres too. But an Undead Combat Dummy actually uh, gives you the ability to always hit your max hit and it actually boosts my prayer points. And then I just go back to the Slayer Tower, I go back up, kill back and forth, and I can last like, I think almost seven or eight kills extra with the amount of prayer points points, uh, I get boosted, I don't even have to use potion, so um, this is a really cool method for tasks, and I think I'm going to use this a lot more, so if you did, guys didn't know about this, the Ancient Maze is actually a really good uh, feature to get over your prayer points, and they actually do not degrade as with um, the normal stats of your uh, attack, defense, and strength, which is really cool as well. So I'm gonna stay at 79 however long I want until I use prayer again. Another superior has been slain, 40 insult blood veil health as well as 30 blood runes. Uh, yeah, I'll take that drop, to be fair. Uh, I'm really hoping on actually hitting the rare table again. Obviously, I can't complain. I got extremely lucky on the Imbutar and everything. But uh, it's just nice to see them because, like, there's so many expectations you have from seeing a superior foe. So uh, that is kind of annoying. And I feel like I kind of fucked up because I didn't get a totem piece. So that means that there's probably a totem sitting in my bank. Another superior is going down here at the mutated bloodfelds. And I get myself the dark totem paste, the 30 blood runes, and the insult bloodfell. This time I actually went to the bank and I uh, completed my totem for attempting this again. But uh, yeah, another superior, pretty cool. 147 kills left. Hard casket, 41k, wow, that is so sad. Another superior at the Dust Devils is about to go down, which means I got myself the third totem base, which is a new totem as well, and I got the Grammar Renard Reed and Mitchell Bars too, and we are currently 430k away from level 93 player, but I am 5.7k away from getting a level 97 hit points. I'm sensing my luck is starting because I literally just got a superior and I already got another one, which is crazy. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get the totem piece because you already got one, but I got myself the AT Chaos Rune. So basically, I have a full totem in the back right now. I just have to get it, but uh, I didn't figure I would get another superior in like the past uh, 15 kills. But uh, it's really nice to get, and currently 3.4k away, so I'm probably gonna hit the level right here at the Dust Devils. I just finished my Slayer task, but I felt like I wanted to complete it just to get myself the 97 hit points and 4 XP left, and here we go, level 97 hit points, still level 93 combat, but that is a really cool achievement, 1.1 million to level 98, which is an incredible amount. But uh, 404 tasks completed as well, receiving me 12 points. So we're almost at 800 points. So if I get 1k, I'll probably get myself the Otter Slayer Helmet. And we're coming up to an end here on the Jad task. This is going to be Jad kill number 7, actually. It is the new personal best with 47 minutes and 48 seconds. Another task has been completed. Unfortunately, I do not see the pet just yet. But uh, that is 25k Slayer experience gained to the account. And uh, that is kill count number 7. And I'm going to exchange my fire cape here. Please give me the pet. Bargain it. Yes, I know I'll get my cape back. I am not lucky. That is kill count number 7, 405 tasks completed, but there's actually something I want to show you guys to round up this episode. And what it is I'm willing to show is the um, Gilded Adventure Lock right here, where you can see my boss kill counts for uh, certain monsters. So if we take a look at the Slayer Lock, I currently am at 52 superior creatures. Haven't seen a drop in like 20, but then again, I've got 3 drops in 52 superiors, which is uh, still really lucky. Uh, then a lot of uh, monsters here and there, and the most thing I've killed is actually the Gargoyle and I'm looking pretty, um, I'm looking forward actually to the new update where there's going to be a gargoyle boss as well. So that's going to be nice. Uh, and then dust devils, aberrant specters, actually blood velts. I killed more blood velts than uh, gargoyles, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then obviously the abyssal demons as well as the cave krakens. But we can also look at the boss lock, which is actually what, whoops, not the champion's lock. This is for something uh, else. This is going to be a different episode. But the boss lock right here. Um, I am at 17 Commander Zilliana kills, which is from the previous episode. I stopped at 93 General Grado kills. I'm going to boost this all the way up to like 150 in the upcoming episodes at least. And I'm going to try the other bosses as well. But I think I'm actually going to unlock the boss tasks um, as a new Slayer update in uh, the next episode as well. But then we can go to Zamorak is 12, 242 King Black Dragons Guild as well, 53 Chaos Fanatics, 75 Barrow's Chest. I haven't done Barrow's Chest in honestly forever. 
uh, and I don't really plan on doing them right now because I don't really need the money, but uh, it's a cool thing to do once in a while. Then still 563 Zora kill count, 1000 Kraken kill count, 150 Abyssal Sire, 5 Cerberus, I'm still working on that one, it's not that easy, 16 Scotizos and 33 Winter Toads. Um, but the things I really want to get up in the upcoming episodes are... Um, some more Jath asks, I would really want to get the pet for that one, so that would be pretty cool. Maybe some Zoro kills, but I don't really feel like Zoro anymore because I uh, sort of... I don't know, I don't know how to do Zoro anymore, actually. Uh, I don't know the rotations anymore, it's been too long. So uh, if I get back into it, it's really possible because I have the uh, beautiful house here as well. But um, yeah, some more overall... Um, encounters of the boss lock would be cool for the upcoming episodes because we are getting close to an end currently I am 97 hit points, which is pretty nice as well uh, So yeah, everything is coming good 97 uh, Magic so close to 98 274 K to go, which is really nice another 99 is coming up as well And in fact, I think I should do some more general skilling because I do feel like I'm approaching the end game and I'm not really ready to PK yet because I'm so bad at it. Uh, I tested it beforehand and I just keep dying. It's really frustrating because I don't know how to do switch and everything. My account build is pretty good, but um, I keep messing up on, on easy things and I keep getting, um, I don't know, like tricked by people into doing things that I shouldn't do. That doesn't mean luring, but still it's uh, sort of annoying. But that's gonna wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave this video a like rating. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so as well. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode.